Today, I want to test three different tips that goes at the end of the auger and see which one performs better on clay soil. So let's see which one wins. I have three marks on the ground for each hole. The first one I'm gonna do is using the stalk uh, tip, which is the one with the wider thread. This one, in my experience, is not the best because the wider thread tend to screw itself into the clay. As soon as I hit the clay, which is two feet underground, it will just screw the auger all in, and it's gonna be very difficult to pull it back up. So let's give it a try. straight. I'm just gonna go very slow. This is about where the clay starts to be pretty hard. So as expected, this tip got stuck. It went way deeper than what I thought because the clay is pretty wet. But um, as soon as the thread of the tip catches hard clay, it will drive the over all the way in. And I'm just drilling with the weight of the implement, not even pushing. I'll tell you what, I'm getting good at this. That for sure. talking about when the uh, the thread just by the uh, clay it is like super hard to break it well up here everything is loose it's just the tip get the stock well so I'm gonna try tip number two for this second hole, I'm going to be using a tip called fishtail tip because it resembles the shape of a fishtail. This one has a much larger pitch than the original one. So instead of, my expectation is instead of getting the auger screw into the clay, this one should just break through. So let's see how it works. All right, let's see. I hope with this one. I just stop for a second to show you something. This tip is cutting the, the soil much finer than the other one. Instead of just pushing through so hard like the other tip, this one is more gentle. So it, it actually mill the, uh, the dirt much better. Let's keep drilling. I 
he is hitting the hard play. Definitely going down much lower than the other one, which actually I like that. Look at that, not a problem. That's a pretty nice hole. So as you can see, compared with the uh, original one, with the stock one, this one doesn't have much um, clay stuck to it. This one is just basically destroying everything that is touching. If I turn it, there is a little bit in this side, but it's pretty soft compared with the, uh, with the other one. And the good thing is that it hasn't got a stock at all. So I'm very happy with the way this uh, Fistel tip works actually really well. It can be seen also that this is the side of the bead that is doing the hard work. So I get this bead is gonna start getting worn out from, from the edge. All right, number two tip is a winner. Let's take a look to number three. The last one, number three. If you look at the tip like this, it's gonna look pretty much like the stock one. The difference is that I just shaved both sides. So it still have the high pitch that is going to drive the ogre down when it touches the hard clay, but it should be much easier to pull it back up because there is less resistance. So basically this one is a modification of the stock one. Let's see how it works. That's what I'm talking about. I can just pull it back up just by engaging and disengaging the uh, the PTO. Yeah, all the way. There you have it. So this tip number three is working really, really well. It tend to get stuck, but the good thing is that I pull up the uh, implement and at the same time engage and disengage the PTO. So it kind of like breaks it loose itself and it releases. So I've used this tip a, a few times, always doing the same procedure when it gets stuck. Not a single time I need to leave the tractor. It will just come up by itself. So to me, this one is also a winner when uh, working on clay. I like the fish uh, tail tip it comes out clean, nothing is stuck to it. Okay, now, now time to draw a conclusion. I have to say that using the uh, stock bead has been very frustrating because the first 10 hole I got the, uh, the ogre stock all the time until I find out of these other two. So I think this one, the stock one that comes with the uh, um, ogre that I bought on Tractor Supply, it will do really well in very, very wet uh, clay or in sand. Other than that, I'm not going to use it for anything else. The fistal tip has done really good. It drives the auger a little bit slower than the other ones, than the other two, but uh, it never got stuck. So um, I think this one will also work really well on a, a little bit more rocky soil. It will wear out faster, but it will work. I'm very happy about this one. And the last one, the one that I modified, uh, it works fantastic. I've used it, this thing like at least 15 times. It drives the auger fast. It gets stuck, but it's easy to pull it back up without using the pad wrench. So uh, to me, in the soil that I have, this is the winner. Just shave the stock one in both sides and you're good to go. I hope this video has been helpful to you and hopefully you avoid a you know, big part of all the frustration I went through. The storm is coming my way. I'm out of here. Thank you for watching.